Hey guys, thanks for joining me this week on For All Things Lexington. It's the only show dedicated to Lexington, South Carolina. Here, you'll hear me talk to people, groups, bands, and organizations about where to go, what to do, and who's who in and all around our beautiful Lake Murray. I'm your host, Angela Barrett, and this is For All Things Lexington. Hey guys, today I am with the Fridge Dozbits Band, and I am super excited to have you. Thanks for having us. Take up your time today. Um, we are here at one of the venues that you frequent a lot, which is Wings and Ale at Lexi's. And thanks to Wings and Ale for allowing us to do this same early in the morning with them. In fact, um, so the Red Shops, what's the meaning? <laughs> I know you don't. I don't have an on today, but y'all always wearing the red shirts. What's the story? So we had a guitar player that came with the red shirts all the time. We didn't pay a lot of mind to it. As we noticed them. We played a gig for a yacht club, and a subset of the yacht club was the Red Shoe Club. And so they were coming up to the stage going, we got red shirts. You know, and so we're like, this is so cool. So we, we, we started wearing the reds. Well, also in uh, the one of the Bruno Mars songs that we do, Got Chuck's on and Saint Laurent got a kiss with that. So, so if we all have them, then we're 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 fitting the performance bill too. That's true. That's true. Well, I do like them. I do like them. So, uh, let's take a moment and introduce everybody. So, Bruce, Bruce Moore, I played guitar set. This is right here, and uh, I'm the band leader. I'm Juliana. Uh, I'm the only musician in the the uh, band that doesn't play an instrument. So, I'm one of the singers. John Fickner, I play guitar, but in the band, I'm playing bass. I'm there, actually. And we have um, James Olzeri. Yep, uh, James is our view. Go ahead, tell who you are. Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I'm James uh, Jones, and I play guitar and sax and do some vocal stuff. James is also our musical director, so if we, if there's any question about the right way to do a song, he's usually right. <laughs> I know um, Jose is not here today. Um, he delivered the U.S. mail. <laughs> so he, he plays drums and he brings positivity. If, like if, 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 James, if a Jose would have come in here, we would just all be feeling happier. I love it. I love it. So uh, when did you guys get together? How long have y'all been together? Well, so uh, we've been here since uh, March of last year, um, where we were lucky enough to find James and Jose. So we originally, 10 years ago, um, we auditioned for John in John's basement 10 years ago. In Northern Virginia. In Northern Virginia. Uh, and then he moved here. I moved here. Bruce moved here. We started to reformat, and we were lucky enough to find um, Jose and James so we've been playing locally for since March of last year. You can probably win here a year and I'll play in weird places as I know you play. That's pretty darn good. And we've been really lucky to to be friends some some really talented people in the area and they put in a good word for us. And Robin here at Wings and Ale is, uh, gave us a shot when when we were didn't have any other shows or venues and she gave us a shot and um thankfully it, it went pretty well. Okay. Um now I consider when I hear y'all um, a dance fan. I mean, it's not a band that you're going to stand there and, you know, clap your hands away. You're going to get up and you're going to be dancing to what? That's the goal. That's the goal. The goal, yeah. Yeah, I don't, when people are just looking at us and, you know, just, I mean, I love that they're appreciative, but, um, yeah, I like to incite a party. It's not about us. It's about the it's about the, the friends um, and the support that we get and the, how much fun, you know, if they leave, haven't had a great time, then we've accomplished our goal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can get up and, and dance when we hear you. I mean, y'all play some great songs. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm starting to use the tagline, your dance party band. Yeah. yeah. And, they, and really, uh, you know, thanks to uh, John and, and Juliana bringing the culture to all, it's always been about our audience. It's, it's, you know, we, we try to put on a show for the audience it's not about us yeah we want to we want to see people having a good time right 
yeah, you've done your job. The, the people are up and down front, and, and and you're right that sometimes we forcibly pull them on to the dance. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got my sisters out there with me. Yeah, So, um, this is not your only job. This is not a full time thing. Tell us, tell us where everybody else. What you, what? I have a refinishing company and spend a lot of time in the bathroom, refinishing things in the bathroom. <laughs> It's my my comfort zone right there. Yeah, I work uh, I work in tech. I support the U.S. Army and uh, proudly have supported them for about twenty years now. So, and uh, I do uh, internet advertising. When you search on Google, the results of the top are paid ads that I've made. So, that can't pay. James and James, drum roll. And yeah, for me, uh, actually, I'm at work right now. Uh, I'm actually a pastor at a church. And I've got a couple of uh, sleepy youth right here and our youth leader, Casey. And uh, we had a little weekend retreat. Had to be out on today. So, uh, yeah, that's what I do during the week. The evening's elite faster at Grace Chapel. In, uh, nice. Is it West Columbia or Casey? Yeah. Yeah, West West Columbia area. Okay. When we were first getting introduced to each other, that you know, the first question usually is like, well, so what do you do? You know? And I said, well, I'm in sales and marketing. and uh, And he said... I'm also in sales and marketing. I was like, what do you sell? Jesus. <laughs> I thought it was a great one. <laughs> Salvation. <laughs> so musical director and sometimes spiritual advisor. Spiritual yeah. advisor. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and we uh, know Mose is at the uh, postal. He's probably delivering his new drums right now to himself. Yeah. No, yeah. They, <laughs> he got the dry to get him. But he, cool. he's recently... Uh, retired from the arm. Yep. And uh, 20 years. He was doing uh, some computer tech and he has a top secret clearance. So, any of you guys out there looking for somebody like that, uh, you might be able to uh, offer something to him. Yeah. <laughs> so, the relationship, and I know that these guys are, I guess, um, a year, a little over in with you guys. What do you, I see y'all sell. And the whole, yeah, we're family. Family, yeah, yeah. We um, absolutely. Um, yeah, and we've been so lucky to find people who really sit in with that culture of um, total trust with each other on stage, off stage. Um, it's never about you know one particular person. It's always about the unit and the audience. Um, and we we, you know, we consider the the wives and the husbands of the band the. Um, extension of our family, the family we chose instead of the family that we were born into. Yeah, we've had like a band. The best. Yeah, we've had a band family party. It's time to do it again. But we had one where, yeah, you know, we're not gonna play music. We're gonna bring your kids and your wife, and we want everybody to know who's hanging out with who. You know, so that they have trust and and uh, and faith in what we're doing. Yeah. Correctly, if I'm wrong, I'm not in a band. Um, but it is just from what my little setup is. So there are a lot of pieces and parts that go into it long before you hit the stage. Yeah. And so it's, I think it's important with fans that um, you do have that kind of uh, family um, where you can be honest with one another when it's necessary and have fun, but also get done. Yeah, we're really lucky because we have Bruce who basically... Um, if you don't have a Six Sigma black belt organization, he literally looks at every piece of the, the lighting, the tech, the music, changing out batteries. The, I, you know, I, I win booking, uh, contracts, legal, everything that normally we would have to kind of figure out as a team. He takes care of it. That's why like band dad, right? He totally makes sure that everybody is completely packed and ready to go. Did you have something you wanted to say? I said, yeah, you got to have a band daddy. And he had that, that list. When Bruce writes a set list, sometimes, it, you know, a lot of it depends on what time is the sun going to go down? Are we going to present this song? Yeah. You know? He really thinks through every aspect of that. Yeah. So it's like, okay, the, the audience around here is responding. It, this, this show is going to have more couples. So we'll do more slow songs so that we can, you know, generate that moment for them. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll, do like non-dancey songs until sunset because when the lights go down, the fun goes up, right? right. And so um, he thinks through all those different 
aspects of the of the um, of the performance and of the the band dynamic, and as a result, it's just so much less stressful on the rest of us because he takes it on these shoulders, and he loves here. it. Huh? Yeah. Well, he would have to, yeah, because that's a lot. I, yep. I agree. So, it's, and speaking of you know, like this place that we're having little couples, y'all don't just play at uh, a Wings and L or or you know, bars. There are other places, weddings and what, Amphitheaters. theater, corporate corporate events, things like that. These, yeah, that's. I mean, it's fun when we are found in a bar setting and they know what to expect, and then they bring us into their their work environment and it goes great you know that's always um really rewarding yeah yeah um so let's talk about so the main places i guess that y'all do play we had some regulars like where we are uh ways and ales what are some of the others that you are trying to play at a regular basis lj's 378 uh, yeah highway 378 uh bar. Yep. Don't forget Bubba's. They treat us really well yeah. there, too. Yeah. Yeah. In, uh, in Red Bank area, we go to Bubba's. And, uh, uh, but really, uh, right now, we're. You do you steer are almost on the same cycle. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And High Jack, we all kind of, like, yeah, thanks to, to Michaela and Jack with High Jack. Um, Bruce was smart enough to connect with them early on and bring us bring them in because we want to respect the market, right? When you play in DC, it, it, it has one. Um, set of things that people want and then when we played down here he you know had uh, jack come in and consult with us early on and um we became really good friends with them and they've they've supported us and um so it's and, great people yeah michaela i had been to see maybe 25 bands you're talking about the stuff you do before you hit the stage mm -hmm. finding out what the bands are doing what's going on was a big part of it. i see maybe 25 bands when we saw hijack at lj's and julia and i don't look at each other this is by far the best band we've I think there's a lot of talent. Let's just be clear. There's a lot of talent around here, but yeah. there's a female. I mean, she's, you know, female singer. And actually, um, one of the first ones that we saw was Robin's daughter. They, She was fantastic, too. So I love supporting other women in, um, in uh, music. And sometimes that's not always like you don't click with other women because some, you know, there's a perception of diva or whatever. But it's been it's been awesome, I like getting to know other female artists. And I'm frequently throwing them the microphone if they're here, you know and having them come up on stage. I like that support. And that helps with, you know, the other women in the crowd are like, okay, yeah, it's a sisterhood. Let's go. Yeah. That was evident day one when you first walked in my door. Yeah. She was nervous about, not so much about us, but, you know, the wives and everything. What are the, because if, if they don't like you, then that's just not going to work. Yeah. Out. So I walk, I walk into audition and uh, they're having a dinner party with nine couples. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope the girls like me. That's really, really important. And his wife and their crew, they all were like shaking their shoulders and making me feel good and like a, like totally disarmed that whole nervousness that could happen in that environment. Yeah. Well, one of the things that uh, about the gigs, uh, that we're really working hard now to try to put together our best show for Ice House Amphitheater on the 20th. Right, y'all. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about yeah. that one. Yeah. Slash birthday. Yep. Yeah, so a ticket are all one. It was, I, it free. it's free. Yeah, part yeah. of the spring concert series, which we went to several of them last year, and they they're well attended, and so we're very excited about it. Uh, actually, tomorrow night we're going to, uh, to uh, the amphitheater to test some of the tech uh, for our show because I'll be controlling the lights and down uh, and sound. So. Right. Um, yeah, and that be a little bit different. That's the yeah. So it's a one year anniversary for for us here with this this uh, group. Um, it's the ten year anniversary of us kind of forming the original Fringe Benefit, uh, and it's my fiftieth birthday that day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. We we did our first club gig. Yeah, when I turned forty. Yeah, that was our first time. And I like doing um, like what better way to spend your birthday than like performing for people and having people be like yeah i like it's uh, fun uh, yes absolutely um now i know that there are uh, some places um that you would like to play in other than uh, tell me about some of those but you just haven't had the opportunity to get in there yet and i know uh one obviously you can get ready to happen is it may have beer and that, yeah um there were some other places you and i talked about um 
that he would like to get into. Yeah. Uh, Bar Figaro in uh, Newberry. Uh, and uh, someplace in, in uh, downtown Columbia that we I really like the venue. They don't often have bands of our style there. Right. But we love the venue, and it's a great location. And then Market on Bay, uh, so which is which is right down there, too. So, uh, right. Okay, well, that might be a possibility as well. But, yeah, someplace in, in Columbia, but I identified uh, those two. Uh, and then um, they got a, a, a club in um, Augusta, just an hour from here, uh, called Doc's Portside, <laughs> that I identified as one that we'd like to play at it. We're going to be playing there March uh, 8th with our next gig. Good. Yeah. Yeah, we're just, uh, like, we're super grateful for, for Robin and the team here that gave us the shot and keep us regularly being able to perform. Because if you go too much of a stretch without performing, you get a little rusty. And so it's really nice to be able to have a home station mission command here. At it's our home. There's no place. Yeah. And when we play here, we, we, we just get a uh, thrill because... We've created a, a party atmosphere. People know about it. We get great attendance here. We're well received. It's because of repetition, you know. And uh, and plus, it, this club, since we started playing here, has really, I don't know, people watch it if you haven't been here in the past, you know, six months to a year. It's a new flooring. It's they tore down a put stage. Yeah. Any incredible improvement uh, in this space, mm-hmm. including the services, really gone up too. Right. Yeah. You know, it, it was a. Pr- yeah, they are. <laughs> um, the um, but y'all have quite a following. I mean, the people that follow y'all from. They, well, we're grateful to have really um, awesome friends of fringe. So we don't we don't use the term, you know, like group. You know, like people where I'm a groupie. I love you. Uh, nope, we're a friend of fringe. You're a part of our village, and I really feel like um, we've just been so fortunate to be. Um, accepted down here you know yeah uh except and to find other folks that you know maybe transplants um uh, to the area that are you know just really received so warmly it's been awesome yeah um well, not to say anything about age anybody's age because i do think there is a difference in a following and briefings um we talk about the age group i mean um at our age or my age at least certainly i follow so- certain bands genres oh i gotta call it a rugby i'm like her like <laughs> yeah so we you know i think just i think so too i mean there's a there's a couple of radio stations around here that i noticed that play you know hits from the past but also play current music and that's kind of what when when somebody asks what we play i i tell them we play everything from led zeppelin to lizzo like and if it goes over well and people know the words and they enjoy dancing to it we're we're gonna be accepting of that we don't have a particular like one genre that we stick to bruno mars and michael jackson i'll turn you up like yeah but we have a queen medley too which is you know kind of a throwback but you know when it, when there's um it gets sprinkle in a little motown yeah 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 oh i remember that oh yeah I remember that. yeah we, we like we, master some things that may not always go together you know spice girls and michael jackson not always play back to back. <laughs> so, um, what do you think your biggest gig today has been? Well, I think it'll be the one in April. <laughs> yeah. Well, to actually, today it was the last time we were here. Yeah. Yeah, it was just so exciting, and it just it's like coming home. You know, we know where to set up and the kind of how it's going to be. And it was their uh, record-breaking biggest night too. Now we got to beat ourselves. Yeah. Right. That. <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, with your own, with ourselves. Yeah, we just you know the more people we can reach, uh, and more people we can incite to have a good time, you know, inside a party, we're we're happy to do it. It's really just you know, that's what brings us joy. You know, yeah. it's a side hustle, but we want to make sure that it looks like somebody who does it for a living. Because a lot of them, you know, a lot of the folks in the band that that has been their living, and they have lived through music, and so. Um, even though we do all have day jobs, we want it to look like this is something that we do for a lily. So try to practice and uh, don't play about once a week at least. Like once every other week or so. Yeah, and, and um, we get together and practice and work on harmonies and refine the formats of songs. Um, and we always try to add new music, which, 
you, you got to get together to practice if you're going to add new music, um, new to us music, um, to keep it fresh and interesting for the for the for the friends of Fringe. Yeah. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? So, uh, I used to forecast this, yeah. remember? Yeah. So, so, so it's going to be bars on Friday nights and private parties on Saturday nights and a couple weekends a month. I think what's going to be great is I'm going to have a lot better control on it. So the way it is now, uh, if a club I want to get into has an opening, we have to go. Sure. You know, if you say no, you may never get another opportunity. And this has happened already in this park. So, you know, uh, that's uh, too many gigs in April. Sorry. You know, I couldn't turn down a wedding, the amphitheater, a new club, uh, you know. <laughs> I don't like that. So, so we, we have some gaps and we started to get better control. And once we get in, you know, we can do it. So I think in five years, I'll have really good control over it. And we'll be able to play at the places when and where we want. Uh, and we'll be able to do more private gigs uh, as well. So that. And speaking of that, so how do you, if somebody needs you or wants you guys for a wedding or a, a work event or whatever it may be, how do they get in touch with you? So, they can, yeah. So the office is all, all me. So, there's, you know, Bruce at thefringebenefitsband.com, or you can visit the website, thefringebenefitsband.com, and there's a, a contact form, uh, you know, and ask for some detail, tell us the details I'm looking for. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I'll uh, contact them and let them know our availability. Perfect. Well, guys, thank you all so much for taking time out of your very busy day since y'all have two jobs. And, um, I appreciate it, and I am looking forward to the next time to uh, see you. Thank you. I have enough. Really do appreciate this. Then, and safe driving. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I hope you enjoyed the show. If you'd like to be a guest on the show or know someone you'd like to see on the show, contact me at forallthingslexington.com. That's the number four, allthingslexington.com. For All Things Lexington has been brought to you by... Angela Barrett at HomeMattersSC.com, building on what matters to you.